Okay, uh, James here from James Colton Outdoors. Um, I'd like to tell you a little bit about myself. I've been registered blind since 2003. I was first registered partially sighted in 2002 and then a year later in 2003 I was registered as blind. I do have some sight. This video I'm going to show you that just because I am registered blind it doesn't mean to say that the sight loss that I've got affects the way that I live the life that I love. So in this video you'll see that I do all sorts of outdoor activities, cycling, canoeing, walking, um, you name it, bushcraft, we, we cover the lot. So um, just a little tip for any of you that's watching this that is uh, suffering with sight loss. You don't need to let it get you down. You don't need to let it stop you doing anything. Um, so come along, watch the video and see what you think. The intro to this video showed a lot of fast paced um, outdoor activities uh, from cycling, canoeing, walking, a bit of bushcraft, cooking on a fire, cooking on a stove, all sorts of outdoor things like that. Now when I first lost my sight back in 2002 I thought that I would not be able to carry on doing any of those things, the things that I really enjoyed doing and the things that I loved. Um, because I thought it would have been too difficult with my sight loss probably like a lot of people who are starting out with sight loss they, it becomes a bit, a bit of a devastating effect that um, you've lost your sight and everything that you've come to know has sort of come to an end but with the help of others um, in my case it was family and the people that I now work for Galloway's um, it shows that you can still do things and a lot of the things that I used to love doing I still manage to do so I do go cycling I do go walking I do go hiking camping doing bushcraft I've been canoeing sailing rock climbing you name it I'll have a go at it um, a lot of those things I do need extra help with I need a, a sighted guide in the case of when I go out walking a lot or when I go out cycling nine times out of ten it's my wife that comes along and acts as my, acts in my eyes um, when I'm working and I'm leading groups because I'm also a, a qualified lowland leader um, through work and I do lead groups of other visually impaired people out and about doing all these other sorts of activities when I do those sorts of activities I always have a support worker with me who's there as an extra extra pair of eyes just so that I can continue doing what I, I love doing um, and what I've found through through my work is that a lot of people who have who are living with sight loss um, can gain in confidence gain their independence and break down iso social isolation as well by getting involved with with groups of other like-minded people and just showing them that there are ways that you can still carry on so it's just a short video just showing that uh, just because you do suffer from sight loss doesn't mean to say that you can't live the life that you love um, and carry on doing what you want you may have to do things in a different way but hopefully this video has shown that the, there is hope out there and you can still do things 
So if you'd like to know more about my sight loss journey or sight loss in general, just drop some comments down. Um, if you want to know what sort of things I get up to, again, just leave me a comment. Uh, hit the like button, um, subscribe, and we'll keep you informed of any other videos coming out. So for now, it's just a case of thank you to everybody who's watching. Um, hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.